The multi-range emitter model SAL006 can use one of its 20 operating modes. In each mode included modes for measuring microamperes, milliamperes and amperes, one of the three instrument shunt resistors can be used. Technical specifications are as follows. Measurement accuracy 2%, power supply voltage 3 volts, power supply current consumption 0.35 milliamperes, rated voltage of the instrument shunt resistor 75 millivolts, symbol height 17 millimeters. Operating temperatures range using an external power supply from minus 40 to plus 80 degrees Celsius. Weight with the battery is 24 grams. Measurement range from 1 microampere to 1000 amperes. You can choose one of the 60 measurement ranges. The corresponding instrument shunt resistor must be used for each mode. The rated value of the instrument shunt resistors can be determined with the help of the table. Each range corresponds to only one particular shunt resistor. Self-made shunt resistors or resistors may be used for low currents. When using resistors, metallized ones are preferable, as they are less dependent on the temperature. Using manganin and constantin wire is most efficient. Using the special jumpers, set the operating mode of the model up before it is switched on. Once turned on the model indicates the selected mode. For example, the mode for measuring currents of up to 25 amperes. When turned on, the model shows the blinking value of 25.0, which means that operating mode 5 was selected. A corresponding shunt resistor must be used in order to receive correct current readings. That is 25 amperes, 25 microamperes or 25 milliamperes depending on the required measurement range. If an unacceptable mode was chosen by the jumpers, you will see a blinking error message. If the maximum current for the chosen mode has been exceeded, the device indicates three stripes. Measurements are possible only in one polarity. When current in the reverse polarity is measured, the value 000 will be displayed. The model using uses an inbuilt lithium power cell of type CR2032. It lasts for about 20 days under continuous load. Any other direct current supplied with a voltage of 3 volts can be used to power the device. When using an external power supply, connect the plus to the 3V contact and the minus to the OV contact. It is required the external power supply must have galvanic isolation from the source whose current is being measured. Also, when using an external power supply, the inbuilt lithium battery must be disconnected. And certainly you should remember the following. If a user shunt resistor not corresponding to the selected model and selected mode, the current readings will be incorrect. It is forbidden to use the module without a shunt resistor. Reversal of an external power supply polarity is also unacceptable.